Greetings, man. This is Lucky Charm, your modern day shaman. Just wanted to step on the live, uh, bless you up a little bit, uh, this morning. Yes, 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 yes. It's a beautiful thing when the Most High is speaking to us and we hear it. Because the Most High is always speaking to us. So we don't always hear. We, we got a bunch of jibber jabber and and chatter going on, a lot of times we don't hear. But, uh, I don't even know where to start. I'm just going to say I'm grateful. Grateful for a beautiful day. Grateful for the opportunity to be a vessel. And I'm staring, but I'm not staring in the space right now. I'm just watching the steam, the water, if you will, from the morning dew on the top of my car. The sun is shining on it, and the steam is, tra you know, like it's tra the water on the car is transforming into vapor. And I was just watching. At any rate, with that being said, it's funny how a lot of people that want to bash those of us who uh, still believe in Mama Nature. <laughs> and think that because we believe in mama nature that we disregard science altogether but let me tell you something I've always been a lover of science when I was in school I was in advanced science classes and there was times that I would miss an entire week out of school when I say week I'm talking about like almost like well four days because five days is the days that you go to school right on that fifth day I would come to, come to school and they give me my science test and I make a hundred in my books, because we had books back then, um, I would be five chapters ahead of the class with my assignments because I just, I just loved science. No matter if it was earth science, if it was biology, if it was uh, chemistry, if it, you're dealing with the um, the stars and stuff like that, out of, out of space of the astronomy. Um, but when you start talking about astrology, people want to start, it's now you're dealing with what they can't understand that they want to try to make it out to be some kind of a demonic, you know, like a malicious thing. Okay. And even with that, that's a whole nother story because in, in life you have the duality. You, you feel me? All is good. Count it all, count it all joy. So my thing is. As a, as a child, I would always say, you know what? The Most High is the greatest scientist that I could ever know. Look, look at nature, man. You can look at a, a, a cat that got uh, a dog or a bird or whatever that got patterns and colors and stuff in it. Take a look. I mean, like, take a strong look at it, those patterns. I mean, really look at it. Don't just look and see it. No, look at it and study it because even in your bible it tells you study nature <laughs> study nature you'll get you'll get a lot of answers like that you study nature uh but at any rate everything's all divine to me everything's sacred to me everything I, I can't escape it i don't i don't know how like i always say i don't know why they try to separate eye from eye <laughs> you can't separate eye from eye because um, it's impossible. We think that, like, I hear people praying sometimes and they think that God has moved away from them and forsaken them. No, God didn't forsake you. The God in you, as you, forsaken your higher God. Your, your, your little eye <laughs> forsaken your bigger eye. Innate intelligence. You know, it came to me in spirit last night. The word, when, 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 when they say, who shall I tell them sent me? It says, tell them, I am. I said, tell them I am sent me? I am that I am. <laughs> yeah, so I am. I said, tell them that I am sent me. At any rate, I, I, was, I was out here this morning and, um, you know, I came to feed the chickens and stuff and um and 
the little girl cat, uh, the one I named uh, Namaste, I say the one that I, I saved out of the engine of a, a van. Uh, she likes to do her little huntress, huntress, I think I say it right, huntress thing, but she she likes to, to, to capture butterflies and dragonflies. And uh, I try to tell her, you know, like, the, the you know, we, we call them skeeter hawks. <laughs> dragonflies, a lot of people might not know, dragonflies are, uh, capture mosquitoes. At any rate, uh, she got a butterfly this morning. And she was bringing it to me because they they like to bring it they like to bring their their little gift to you so you can you know pat them on the head and talk to them and let them know they did a great job and stuff. But you know my little heart was like, oh that's an innocent little butterfly. And but I'm I'm not gonna as you say uh, steal her thunder. So I pat her on the head and she dropped the butterfly down and I saw the butterfly was still alive. So I'm like. I say, let me get it. So, spirit spoke to the little butterfly, you know, like me, you know, through me, the little butterfly was like, like just barely hanging on. And I'm like, oh no, I say, nah, I'm, I'm gonna let innate intelligence, the most high, mother, father, creator, divine energy source work through me we gonna we gonna spare this butterfly so I said a little prayer on over with the uh, words of the name Raphael so Raphael is God heals Raphael El is God it's your God energy and I say you return back to your wholeness. And then I walked over to the woods over here and I placed the little butterfly on a, a um, plant. I said, you are free. And the butterfly started flapping, but it was like woozy. And then it flapped some more, like it got its confidence, like it, the life was coming back. It realized it was still alive. It did. It it didn't give up the ghost that at that moment. <laughs> so it flapped on, and it flapped higher, and it flapped higher into one of those, those tall trees back there. And it made my heart feel so full of joy because the Most High. You see, can you see the monster back there? Look at it. She's trying to catch something else now. Well, I think I think I think little Namaste might have some little Namastes going on, so she might be really hungry. I might have to go and give her an extra dosage of food. <laughs> but uh, but it's just amazing. Like I say, the Most High is the greatest scientist that I could ever know. No, there is no scientist on this earth that can outdo the scientist that I know. That's why I don't fret over a lot of things that, that, that take place on this earth, on this, in this realm, in this plane, in this dimension, you will. Uh, but that, I, you know, Spirit guided me to speak that story over to you all of this moment. And just like that little butterfly, a lot of us out here get beat up by our life lessons, our life journey, our adventuring through things, you know, we get a little bumped and bruised out here. And some of us, all you just need is a, somebody to just breathe a little life into you. Breathe a little life into you. So you can bounce back, get your bounce back game strong. Resilience, resilience. Uh, but so many people are so quick to give up you give up on self now I'm not just talking about the individual who is going through a thing giving up on self when we give up on other people other reflections of divinity 
we also give up on self because each and everything that you see out here is a reflection of divinity and it's something that you are the creator y'all didn't hear me <laughs> oh that's right that's right if i say if i say you are the creator some of y'all gonna you know get bent out of shape but i'm gonna say it anyway you are a creator <laughs> you see you're co-creating so those that you need the things that you need to go through your life lessons in this giant classroom that we call life uh, sometimes you need to manifest it on the outside in order for you to see it what's happening on the inside y'all didn't hear me <laughs> You got to manifest it on the outside so you can see what's going on on the inside. I'm going to tell you something. The next time you're feeling down and depressed and just blah, take a look around your surroundings, your immediate surroundings. It's going to let you know what's happening on the inside of you. You got a lot of stuff that you are organizing and whatever or, uh, 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 on the inside. It's going to show up on the outside. That's why a lot of people, they think they're hiding. You can't hide. They think they're hiding. Somebody like me, I can see. Now, even with myself, because that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to start with myself first. And then, you know, as far as like being able to, if I'm going to be able to look at other people in their situations, I got to look at me and my situations too. <laughs> got to first start with me with that. So, and guess what? It's a it's a life it's a life process. It's it's not something that you one two three and be done with. That's why we're here. You're just experiencing life as a vessel, but we're experiencing so many different things. And guess what? Remember, I said you are a creator. There's this thing called the imagination, and I did a spoken word piece some years back that says. Uh, it's like, it's, it's speaking on how everything that you see out here in the physical world <laughs> started in an invisible world called thoughts. And these thoughts processed and manifested into the physical world. The intangible world became the tangible world. Your chairs that you sit in, the, the you know, the uh, cars that you ride in, all that stuff started in somebody's imagination. That's a deep word. Imagination. What were the three kings? The baby Jesus. What were they? Look at the word magic. Look at the word magic. You are a powerful being. You have the power to manifest things. And, and I'm going to jump right on with the, the word alchemy. It means to transform. Something's being transformed, if you will. Back in the days, like people, a lot of people just like now, it's no different than before. Like they said, there's nothing new under the sun. Back in the days, uh, people couldn't comprehend what the alchemists were doing. They were constantly studying and and trying to figure out stuff like no different in the day when like they try to figure out the God DNA and all that good stuff and they always as my mom say that they always um uh, finagling something to try to figure out something. My mom used to say, Baby, I don't understand why these folks keep doing all the stuff that they're doing when it's so simple. It's so simple. It's like the answer is just right before their face but they can't see it. Anything you want, ha, 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 you got to put it right in front of their eyes. <laughs> you don't understand that. You don't understand that. That's why a lot of people couldn't understand when, like, the, the ancient speech for the, for the wise folks. Uh, uh, Mother Sunrise spoke of that today when she was speaking. Um, um, she talked about how they spoke in parables. And see, those parables were meant to confound those who were wise within themselves, meaning that on their, on their fleshly wisdom, they, did, they weren't in tune to their, their spiritual wisdom, that 
the most high mother father god placed inside them of the mother father source universe whatever you prefer to call it. the great spirit it's all the same thing it's all one they couldn't comprehend because they were walking in spirit they were walking strictly by the eyes of flesh but when you walk with the eyes of spirit you see things you get in sight in sight you see things deeper <laughs> so anyway that's that that those was, those was parables come easy to those who walk in the spirit or when i say in the spirit that means in communion with the spirit you you you, you learn how to balance your earthly, fleshly, materialistic you, your physical you, with your spiritual you. Okay? So, it's like, like my spoken word piece was saying, your mind is so amazing, I want you to take this ride with me. See, <laughs> like poetry, emotion, Come tell me what your mind's eyes see. <laughs> you see, that's deep. You comprehend that. Come tell me what your mind's eyes see. Your mind's eye. Imagination. I imagination. At any rate, it's just a beautiful thing that if people could just get on that one accord with Mother Nature, you won't need to be doing all this trying to figure stuff out the way that a lot of people be going. They be taking a scenic route. They be they taking the long route around. <laughs> they 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 rather go get the bumps and the bruises and the knocks inside the head, the two by fours in the face with the nails in it. They rather take it the hard way. Instead of just just flowing the flow with the innate intelligence and accepting that there is a divine consciousness source power that is greater than a little bit of human physical carnal man <laughs> when they say it gave you dominion it, it, check this out that dominion is like being a steward you, you feel me a steward mankind sit and they think oh we're more advanced than animals and oh animals can't talk and <laughs> no you can't comprehend them because you 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 you're vibrating at a lower intelligence level to be honest with you those animals Still got their senses. Mankind done lost their senses. A lot of them done lost their senses. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. I, I'm, you know, I got my native gear on here. Your, your, your natives, your ancient natives, used to come out when they wanted to, to, to go tracking something. That's how you test the wind to see which direction the wind was blowing. You look on the ground for your tracks. <laughs> and you can tell in which direction somebody walked by the tracks. You can tell that somebody walked with somebody. <laughs> but I ain't going too far on that right there. I ain't going too far on that right there. It's just enough to let you know that when you're in tune with nature, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Fret not. Fret not. You hear me? Too many people cowards, man. Too many people cowards because they don't know themselves. Know thyself. <laughs> know thyself. The Most High invested power and energy into each and every creation. Be it a creeping, crawling bug. Be it a flying bird. Be it a dog or cat that walks by. The divine is inside all. Everything is sacred to me. And that's why I say the most high nature is the greatest teacher. It says watch nature. It's the greatest teacher. In a storm, you want to pay attention? We last it was it last year, I think. We had a, a I think it was last year that we almost had a, a hurricane to, to touch 
through uh, South Florida. And it might have been a year before. No, it was the year before, to be actual. Uh, and I was like, uh, I had just bought a shuttle bus that I was converting over to a mobile home. I just had got all the seats out because I was working by myself. Well, when I say by myself, for humanly, but spiritually, the most I was working with me in the divine host. Because my, I had just recently had surgery, so it was hard, but I had to take every seat and all that stuff out of there. And, and I was finally getting some things, that, you know, in place inside of it. And then here we go with this threat of a hurricane. But that's nature, right? So, at any rate, I'm like, uh, Almighty, <laughs> I just bought this thing. I paid cash, it all paid off. And it's a vision. It's been a dream, a vision for a long time of mine. And you allowed it to manifest for me, to come to fruition. And I, I'm not ready to let it go right yet. I'm just starting. <laughs> just, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta talk with spirit. You gotta commune with spirit, like I'm, like I'm communicating with you all across this video thing here. Uh, you gotta, you gotta talk one on one. Everybody's experience is a one on one experience. That you're supposed to have that that that, that kind of connection where you can talk freely because you can't hide. You can't hide from the most high. You can't hide from this divine energy, this innate intelligence. You can't hide from it. It's you. So at any rate, as I was doing that, you know, communication and you know, with the with the spirit, the most high source, it came to me, watch the birds. Pay attention to the birds. That's right, you hear the birds? You hear the birds? That's the rooster. And every so often you'll hear a little tweet, 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 and cluck, cluck, and all what kind of stuff that's going on. That's nature. And they're beautiful songs that they sing to one another. They're singing their praises, okay? And whatever, even their mating calls. That's, that's, it's all sacred. And I heard birds, and I saw birds flying around while everybody else was Frantic, not everybody, but most people, you know, frantically running around trying to get supplies to get ready for the hurricane. And I'm like, if there are birds flying around, the hurricane is not coming this way. <gasps> Y'all didn't hear me? I heard the, there were birds and they were flying around. Because see, Mama Nature got these animals where they're still in tune to their senses, so the animals will sense like, oh, they feel the vibrations. They, they feel the vibe, they sense the vibrations, they feel the vibrations and they know with the native intelligence within them. Now you tell me who's really smart. <laughs> they know to go get prepared when they can. We as humans got a lot of them caged up and fenced up or whatever, so they can't really do their, their normal thing where they can get away when there's a sense of danger but when they can they will get away they will move away from the disastrous areas if they can um but that hurricane that year unfortunately went in turn and went to the Bahamas but fortunately um uh, from my end I was able to to uh my my uh my uh masterpiece of the uh, the bus uh, motor, motor home conversion was able to survive so I'm grateful and I sent many prayers for the uh, brothers and sisters over in the Bahamas and everything for that with that event that that of that hurricane but I just you know that's this is science and this is nature and when you're in tune <laughs> that they say you can speak to a storm and ask that storm to move you can speak to a mountain and ask that mountain to move. Now, some people take everything literally, but they don't get it. You got plenty of mountains and storms in your life. You got plenty of clouds. You got all the stuff that you see in nature is a reflection of things that's happening within us. The stuff from the olden days that you read in the Bible and all of this stuff, those, those characters that, that are, and people and stuff that were during that time, 
are happening right here, right now. <laughs> it, we're different faces, different scenic backgrounds, but nothing is new under the sun. But at any rate, um, with that in mind, I see the most eyes, the most amazing artist. You hear those birds composing their 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 vocals in their way. If you just take a moment, center yourself. Get centered. And tune yourself to your inner compass. Your oneness, your stillness. You're here. A beautiful symphony. Being composed. Listen. It said that the most I said if mankind basically don't honor where they come from. <laughs> the most I say, don't worry. The trees will praise me. The rocks will praise me. <laughs> the fowls of the air will praise me. <laughs> you know how that is done? Like every so often you see the wind blow or you see the effect of the wind blow through the trees and it's like they're like they're waving, like saying, "Hallelujah!" Hallelujah means the highest praise be unto the one, the highest one to rise upon the uh, the, the heavens. Ja, Hallelujah. At any rate, uh, you'll hear that. Now that's just you know one form of speaking for those who know it from that way. It's because, like I said, we got many names that we refer to this divine source. Uh, creative energy, the creator, uh, we we refer to it in many different ways, but guess what, the most I don't mind, don't mind, most I ain't sitting up there, you know, like people think, oh, the most I sitting on, you know, way up to some, some, some old cat that's sitting up there judging everybody, it ain't even like that, mankind judges himself, him or herself, I'm going to tell you, you condemn yourself, you bless yourself. All by your choices that you make in the way that you think. As a man or woman thinks, then so shall it be. This tells me that you have the keys to your own reality. So only you can be the one who set you free. <laughs> what the most I say, when, he, when Master Teacher Jesus was uh, walking um, the earth going by the Bible stories, uh, what, 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 what did Master Teacher say? If they tell you that I am ascending from the sky, I mean descending from the sky, my bad. Descending from the sky, don't go. If they tell you I am ascending from the sea, don't go. Yeah, I hear me. <laughs> if they tell you I am descending from the sky, don't go. If they tell you I am ascending from the sea, don't go. Why? Because the kingdom of heaven is very nigh unto thee. It's inside of you. That's why. So many people sitting around waiting for somebody to come and swoop them up and make it all better. You better pay attention and use your insight. That's why we sometimes you see me with a little a little uh, creative uh, headpiece that I wear, that I uh, I made, the eye, that's that third eye, that's that eye that uniforms the two human eyes, you gotta have a spiritual eye, that one big eye, they can see the front, the back, and all around, uh, and <laughs> so you can be divinely directed and divinely protected, you see, I, right now, I know a lot of people going through a lot of things. A lot of people worry about a lot of things, but I don't. I don't get mixed up in the mix-up because, to each their own. If that's how you flow, that's how your faith is. That's where your faith level is because this is like a giant classroom, like I said now. So that means everybody's on different levels of their learning and their awareness. And sometimes we go back. We might be advanced, and sometimes we 
as they say, slide back on the Mari clay. We slide back over here uh, at, at, at that level of the lower vibrations and, you know, not receiving the messages from the higher tower that, that uh, the broadcasting and we forget who we are. A lot of us got amnesia, spiritual amnesia. Don't know your power. And when you don't know your power, say, I say, well, you better use your mind or somebody else will use it for you. You got different kinds of minds, so that's another thing, too. But I'm talking about that spiritual mind, that deeper, united, wholeness mind. If you don't use it, somebody else will use it for you. And then you find yourself doing a whole bunch of things that ain't you. Ain't you. That's why you need to know yourself, so you'll know when you're doing things that ain't you. To thine own self be true. Know thyself. Peace, love. Namaste, I say.